What is femoroacetabular impingement? This is abnormal contact or impingement happening between the femoral head and between the socket of the hip. This happens when the femoral head is aspherical. This is because of a cam lesion or the socket being over covering the head. This is what we call a pincer lesion. When the patient performs certain activities such as sports or just simply flexing the hip or ro rotating the hip, this could lead to this abnormal contact or collision that happens between the femoral head and between the socket. Around the socket we have a soft tissue called the labrum and this acts to deepen the socket and increase the stability of the femoral head. With this abnormal contact the labrum would then tear. This then leads to something we call a labral tear. As the disease progresses this then leads to damage of the articular surface itself and leads to arthritis. So how do we diagnose femoroacetabular impingement? So first by clinical assessment. So the patient comes on complaints of hip pain usually in the groin or in the C area following activities or following certain positions such as hip flexion and hip rotation. Later on this pain might become persistent after they develop a labral tear or after they start developing early osteoarthritis. Then there are certain tests we can perform in clinic that could raise the suspicion of femoroacetabular impingement. The next step is to get appropriate imaging. And at this point, we usually get an X-ray or a radiograph of the pelvis in the frontal position, an AP position, and the side position of the hip. And it's usually in the side position where we can see this abnormal bone or this cam lesion developing on the femoral head. We then might need to get an MRI scan, and not just any MRI scan, either an MRI scan with a contrast injected inside the hip, what we call an MR arthrogram, or a high resolution MRI scan, usually with a certain uh, uh, resolution called a 3T or a 3 Tesla MRI scan, which can give us an idea about the possible damage that happened to the labrum, and if there are any changes in the articular surface, so any signs of osteoarthritis. It's important to note that a lot of the problems we face with diagnosis femoroacetabular impingement is that these changes might not appear on the conventional radiographs. So if you just get a frontal x-ray, you might not be able to identify the cam lesion. And if you just get a normal MRI scan, you might not be able to identify the torn labrum. So our goal with femoroacetabular impingement is always to stop the impingement, to stop the damage. We can stop the impingement by two methods, either by trying to modify the lifestyle of the patient. So whatever activity they're engaging in that is causing impingement, we try to limit or modify that activity. Also, physiotherapy here can play a role in increasing the strength of the hip and increasing the awareness of the patient to these impingement positions. The other option is surgery. And with surgery here, we, we mean hip arthroscopy. With hip arthroscopy, we can use two portals, one on the front of the hip and one on the side of the hip, go inside the hip, identify the cam and the pincer, and reshape the femoral head in what we call an osteoplasty, and reshape the socket and repair the torn labrum. We usually repair the torn labrum with anchors, and then we test the hip once again during the procedure and make sure that it's no longer impinging.